When you get an online order, you want to know who ordered, what their name is, what their phone number is. So in case you need to contact them, you have that information at your fingertips. It's already shown to you on the Smart Online Order app because you'll see their name and you'll see the special instructions and you'll see all that fields ready here. But when these orders print out at the back kitchen or at the Clover, perhaps you want immediate real-time visibility of their information. You're probably wondering, how do I get that stuff on here? Well, it's fairly easy. So you have to go from the Clover and tell it that you want that information printed on the receipts. So what you do is log in as administrator. If you're logged in as employee, you won't see this option here called set up. So again, press the lock button, make sure you're logged in as administrator or manager. Once you're logged in as administrator that has privileges to see this app called set up. It's right here. Yours could be on the second page. Mine is right here. So once you find it, press it. Once you press set up, you'll see your business name, your address, phone number. Some things cannot be changed from the Clover device, so keep that in mind. If you wanna change your business name or address, you have to do it from your laptop or computer by going to clover.com website. But from the Clover device, we can allow the customer's name to be shown on the printed receipts. So the first thing you wanna do is press order receipts and then check the box order note. Once you check the box order note, scroll to the bottom and check the box customer information. As you can see, once I press customer information, it shows a sample image here or picture showing how it pops up. So you wanna show the customer information and the order note. The order note is the special instructions. Let's suppose somebody says extra sauce. You'll see that once this button is selected. So make sure the order note is selected. Next you wanna do is you wanna press payment receipts. This one is a little bit different because this is a customer receipt. So you do wanna put check the box for customer information, but for order note, that may not be necessary, that's optional. And if you wanna do that, just check the box to see the order note on the payment receipt, okay? In this case, I'm not gonna do that because the kitchen already has that information for the order note. So my settings could be different than yours, but if you need order note on the payment receipt, you can do just that. Once you do that, press orders and also check the box, enable order notes, if you need that functionality. Again, keep in mind that Clover can update and this may look different by the time you watch this video, but try to replicate what I just did to see this information on the printed receipts. Once you have done all of that, what you would do is wait till the next order comes through and you should see this information on the printed receipts. If it does not, reboot your Clover. Press the top right, press the circular icon and press reboot. Reboot takes about 30 to 45 seconds. The Clover station takes that long. The, the Clover Mini can take a little bit longer. So try to do it when you're a little bit slow with the Clover Mini, but with the station, it's pretty quick. Reboot it and do an online order. And then uh, once you get the online order, you should have the customer's information at the bottom of the receipt. Thank you so much.